I'll be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I share your enthusiasm. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmber for several days. And Sir Robard will explain what comes next. This'll be easy. Just go press a button, right? Load the trebuchet. Let's see. There's ta uh, Townberg. Oh, that's a very easy to scale wall, isn't it? It's all crushed down and everything. That's the wrong side of town though, right? Yes, yeah, that's the town side of town. a bad time to bring up the relationship I had with your wife. It's a lot bigger when it gets down here. Holy shit. And that's just the counterweight. So it's essentially a stick... It's like a stick on that axle, and then here's a giant weight, and then the, the stick just flings up, but then there's a secondary joint that adds probably significantly more to the throw. Are you rolling up the next ball that'll be ready? Wait, what the fuck? What the f- What the fuck? <laughs> You're supposed to pick it up and put it in, you know? <laughs> he just rolled it through it. <laughs> I was like, oh man, how, how's he gonna lift it? Like, is he gonna lift with his legs or his back? Like, how's this gonna work? Is, he, is this gonna be really awkward when he, like, pulls something? No, he just clipped it straight through and then walked away as it disappeared. Because it was already loaded. It was already loaded the whole time. He didn't have to load it. But then he even but even his fake loading he did was also wrong. <laughs> oh boy. Woo! I didn't even see the landing. Aw. That would have been a fun time for like a cutaway cam uh, camera angle so I can see where it landed. <laughs> Alright. Well, we did it, Robard. It's the downfall of the kingdom you serve. Hooray. Wow, that was wow. That's some video game physics right there. Look at it go. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it looked like. It probably looked like elastic. And not like wicker, which is basically what it looks like. Huh. Divish said... Sir Divish. Sir Divish said you tell me what happens next. I? We're going to watch Istran shitting himself. That's all? For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. Okay, so it's time for the whole stage where... The siege very slowly happens for days and days and days. And... Not only do you do damage to the fortifications, but you also incite panic and the inability to sleep as giant rocks keep colliding with the place you're in, causing everyone to be unable to... They'll just be, they'll just be incapable of fighting to some extent because of demoralization and lack of rest. So this is a good time to do that Saintly Remains quest, I guess, because I have, I have two days to wait.
There we go. A break in the story. Let's do it. That's the wrong quest. I don't care about Sandy Remains. Restless Spirit. There we go. The Necronomicon. To Ratai. I almost said Talmberg because I'm used to saying Talmberg right now. Ratai, the town that's also important. You can tell because it has three quick t uh, fast travel points on it. So this will give us a chance to give the guy the Necronomicon. Uh, but I think there's going to be a wait involved there. So I'll have to wait some chunk of time. So at that point, I guess I'll go on a date with... Uh... <laughs> We're at like the climax of the story and I'm going to accidentally turn it into like Mass Effect. We're like, what's that? It's time for the big final mission. It's time for tensions to rise. Welp, time to have, go on a romance. Uh, what would you like? Oh, I'm not on a horse. Where's the wayfarer? Oh, there you are. <laughs> what happened to you? Sir, if you only knew, he told me he'd marry me, even though his mother forbade it, and then they killed him. They killed him, the dogs. And his mother told everyone it was my fault. And now I have a child and we live like beasts in the woods. And I'm left with nothing but to beg here at the roadside. God have mercy on me. I'd like to bring the children something better to eat than acorns. Haven't you got something for me, sir? Of course. Here you are. May God reward you for your kindness. Hey, look, an entirely negligible amount of money. I basically don't even care if she's telling the truth or if she's just acting like... The people that do that con at gas stations where they pretend to have some sort of tragedy constantly. But then they also jump to the next person the moment you even sort of express the slightest disinterest in helping them because it's just a con and they're just trying the same story on everybody as fast as possible. Until the gas station attendant will chase them out for doing that again. <laughs> yeah, never give people money at gas stations. They're basically always liars. I've... I've had one or two times where I've been like, God damn it, I did it. <laughs> there was one, uh, specifically one time somebody was asking for actual gas. And I gave them a little bit of gas, like two dollars worth, into a container. Just to get past awkward social situation, but I, ah. Uh, I never trust it. I always think somebody's fucking with me, because they usually are. Or not fucking with you, but, you know lying about their problem in the first place. Right. That's why I thought that one guard looked important. When he went... What were you looking? Your rafters creak? What the fuck was that sound? Was there just an explosion? What? Is that supposed to be the siege? Like I can hear it in the distance? Cause I'm beyond- I'm beyond that distance right now, game. I'm across the entire landscape from there. I should not be able to hear Talmberg siege from here. But uh, what else was that? That was weird. But I recognize why I keep thinking that face is important. I thought I was recognizing an important character, kind of like Robard and stuff like that. Uh, no, it's just this- this guy just shows up too much. He was on the stealth mission, but he's also the apothecary, and he's also that one... That one hunter, the bird watcher guy that makes the bird noises with, with the dead with dead eyes. <laughs> and it was the funniest moment of the entire game. So he just shows up so much that you don't... that's confusing. I've got the book. Really? You're a fine fellow. Well, show me it then. Here it is. Wonderful. Come back in a little while. I need to read through it and find that spell. And here's a reward for your efforts. You put it with the Necronomicon 1. Oh, I never read it. Probably should have read it. Oh well. I can probably steal it from him or something. If I need to. Anyway, let's go do a romance, I guess. With Teresa. Perhaps I should stop by to see Teresa again. I think she said to stop by in the evening or something, but then... 
Yeah, uh, my definition of evening was too late. Well, now it's uh, probably the right time now. Maybe. So we'll see. Here we go. How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? Well, I don't see why not. But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will. I promise. Let's be going, then. We're going to have a fun date date, and I'm also going to take off the most armory parts of my character so I can make this look like a, I can look like a human for a bit. Although maybe, uh, maybe she's psyched about the crazy armor look or something. We got a Sunday dress. You want a dress? <laughs> what am I wearing under that? That works a bit better. Let's sort by worn so I can actually tell which ones are still on. Under that, I've got the party pants. I'm not wearing pants. I'm not wearing shoes. Welp. How did I get so dirty? How did I get so dirty? Alright, well, let's. Try to dress like a person for a second here. <gasps> 20 Charisma Nobleman's hat. Yay. I've got it. Oh, wearing the shirt from Stephanie on this is kind of messed up, actually. He's literally in the middle of being in a siege, but also it's me sleeping with a different person entirely, which is... slightly weird. Aha. I'm I'm fancy, but also military. I finally got a freaking 20 charisma hat that I don't hate as much as the other one. I'm gonna put that one on the floor. Get out of my inventory. I don't even care to go sell you. I just don't want to make the mistake of keeping you around anymore. That's better. There we go. I'm all fancy. Look how fancy I am. Let me rub- let me clean all the shit off of myself real quick. There we go. All better. I think. Look at you. A charisma of- eh. <laughs> Go to taverns a lot, do you? <laughs> Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallets that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Yeah, naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. There's no need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer it. What the fuck? Wait for Teresa to cool down? That's the path she took! First she walked face first into that tree for a bit, then she just walked into the wall, then I jumped over a fence and she disappeared. And I guess she's mad at me now? Boy do I not care. <laughs> Fuck it. Who cares? This quest is abandoned now. I don't care. Who cares about- Teresa, you were almost a character I could care about, but the game won't let me care about you because... The fucking hoops I have to go through to even let you exist as a human being in this universe. Was that another siege happening? Are they going for something artistic with that, or...? 
Where'd she go? Is she still- is she still alive? Did she die? Where is she? I'm genuinely like actually like concerned like did the character die? I don't think you can open that hatch. This is where we keep our debris pile of debris. Like four logs. It literally disappeared out of existence. I don't know if she's alive anymore. She might be dead. Like she's not around the house. <laughs> I got dressed up, god damn it. Hey, where's your daughter? What do you need? Your daughter. I hear you're able to open locks without Certainly. I'd like to hone my Alright. Isn't that quite Agreed. I hear you're able. I want to which All right. Isn't that quite? Is this enough? That's a. That's a poor offer. How poor? Oh, pretty poor. It's one of the more poor offers I've done before. That said, he went super low. As a result. Agreed. I just saved like two hundred dollars. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to. All right. Now. I don't think pickpocketing is high enough to level anymore. Uh, pickpocketing is still level 3. Did I even improve it? Lockpicking is level 17 now, though. Neato. Still can't get the automated brewing thing. Just a bunch of the ones I don't necessarily care about. Oh well. Anyway, goodbye, Teresa. I'm never going to think about you ever again. Goodbye. Hope you respawn one day. <laughs> I don't know. She might be gone. I'm not even joking. The game might have lost her. That was one of the most confusing, weird glitches so far. How do you fuck that up? It's literally the type of quest where that every game ever has been doing for so long, from Gears of War to Call of Duty to every RPG. It's the it's the boring quest, the quest where you you go on a quest with a person and they just walk along the road and talk, and that's the entire quest. And they couldn't even do that. Instead, she walked into a wall and then disappeared, and then I failed the mission. <laughs> like, come on. The people that make excuses for this shit must pack- have- they must be paraplegic from all the, like, fucking bending over backwards to the point where they snap. <laughs> it's just- it's- ah! <laughs> it's incredible! I can't go ten minutes where everything works for just a little bit. That's all I really want. Can I just- can it just work for like ten minutes? Not even just all the time. My expectations are that low now. Have you read it already? Oh, Henry, it's a marvelous book. Wonderful, really. I've found what we need, but it won't be easy. The spell must be said over the grave of the person preventing his soul from resting in eternal peace, while burning something from the house he lived in. Ugh, of course. It couldn't be something easy, could it? Who said meddling with the dead would be a walk in a rose garden? You'll probably have to ask your widow a few more questions. Once you know everything, get something from his house, and find the grave of the person that's preventing him from resting in peace. Then come see me, and we'll get to banishing that ghost. Jesus, and I thought the living were troublesome. I thought the living were troublesome. By the way, I've stolen everything in this building like 17 times, sorry about that. I get the feeling that it hasn't phased you though, because you seem pretty chipper about everything. I, somehow I don't think he's noticed. It's almost as if everything in his life respawns around him as if it's via magic. Is there a bathhouse in this town? Oh right, it's the one we did in the story before. Back up there. I want to visit that bathhouse because I'm up here wearing my nice white shirt and clean clothes and I haven't gotten dirty and I just cleaned in the, in the, in the shitty bath. 
But I, I can see all that mud all over me. I'm like, I don't like that. No. If I'm gonna walk around with my fancy pants clothes for a bit, I want to look all fancy pants for a bit. Don't take this from me. Also, do those silver spurs I have... Oh, right, I haven't been wearing them because I keep... I, 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 get, I equip everything based on uh, other stats. That's also a 20. a 20 but I'm already wearing the boots. Silver spurs are a 17. That's why I thought that they'd be something decent. This matter jacket. I don't even like that hood. I forgot to check the... Charisma 18, that's what I thought. I thought, that, I thought that'd be a decent charisma. It's got bright colors and crap. Oh, but it replaces the outer jacket. It's one or the other. Well, that's that then. Ah! Where am I? Where, where am I? Go this, go this way. I regularly take part in what is essentially texting while driving in this game. And the outcomes are incredible. Where I just... It's like, that that's my, that's the medieval equivalent of bending your car around a tree. It's just, I, I wake up in a weird bush. I'm like, where am I? May the Lord watch over you, Hen. I'd like to... And what... The one that's everything. I... Yeah. The, ma the bath maids will make a new man out of you. It's nighttime, unfortunately, so this is the first day of the siege over. Night one is this is day one that's over, but uh, last time I checked, the Necronomicon lady doesn't go to bed, so we should be good there. And I am fly as fuck at the moment with my nice new hat that look. Still looks silly, kind of, but I don't have I don't, I don't have a weird like sideways towel hanging off the side of my head, which I, I'm like, I, this is dumb looking. What is this? Yes, I can afford cloth, but I didn't want to make anything out of it, so I just put the spool on my head, and it just hangs, because that's how decadent I am. I don't need to make clothing out of the cloth. I just put the cloth on my head. It's extra funny looking because I actually used to work in an upholstery shop, so I'm just like, what is he doing? No, you're supposed to make things out of that. Hey, horsemanship leveled up. You know what? You can just hang out here. <laughs> I'm only gonna lose more time trying to get navigate via you right now. Am I, oh. Wow, yeah, you can just hear that siege every few seconds, no matter where you go. Weird. Weird. Horsemanship. What has happened now, jockey? Horse will never throw you outside of combat. The horse won't shy at nearby foes as long as no one hits him. Never throw you outside of combat. I mean, I don't want him to shy. Hey, lady. Just so you know, locked doors won't keep me out anymore. You can sleep? I thought the whole premise of this quest is you can't sleep anymore. And that's why we need to save you. I saw the apothecary, and he reckons that ghost of yours is quite a problem. You think I don't know that? Last night, I didn't get a wink of sleep. I lay in my bed, tossing and turning, just waiting for him to appear. You, oh no, she, the ghost got her, and now she's like a decapitated head floating over a shirt. And did he come? For a long while, it seemed like nothing would happen. Then, towards the morning, the room grew cold as the grave. My poor heart nearly stopped beating when I heard a voice calling my name. So I fell to my knees and begged the Virgin Mary to protect me. When will this all end? 
You must work quickly. If this goes on much longer, I'll lose my mind. I know I will. I think what happened is that that's the part of the of the character model that's supposed to despawn or like yeah, its textures are supposed to disappear when you're wearing something over it so that you're not clipping through your own clothes constantly which still happens in this game sometimes but they mix you can, you can tell they make the attempts to prevent it because I see my character do that weird parts of my body are disappearing thing every time I change gear but they made her mega fat like not even like proportional human fat, but like character creator monstrosity fat, like a shape that doesn't make sense kind of in some ways, just weird video game fat, like San Andreas graphics kind of. And uh, <laughs> and then, but they didn't change the, the her por proportions are all different, but they didn't change the, which parts of her despawn when she's wearing uh, clothes so because she's so fat she just looks like she's a giant like fat suit on of like magical mega clothes floating around her as a bubble and then her normal size uh whatever you want to call them the boundaries of the of what disappears to stop from clipping are still normal so she's just a floating head in a giant weird cloth prison prison to get rid of him we need to cast a spell over the grave of the person who's preventing him resting in peace. I'm not sure who that person is, though. You, um... You haven't already picked out a grave site for yourself, have you? No. Henry, the truth is, I haven't told you the whole story. I'm not the one he's got unfinished business with. Well, who is it, then? I suggest you tell me everything. Alois had a wife. Her name was Larda, and she was a proper shrew, shrieking at him from sunrise to sunset. He never spent a single pleasant day with her. They must have fought like dogs. One night, Larda took a lantern and burned the whole farmhouse down with Alois inside. That sounds awful. No wonder Alois can't rest easy. When Alois died, Larda lost her mind. She spent days running about the woods near Tarnberg, completely witless, until one day they found her body deep in the woods. Her hair was all pulled out, her face scratched up with her own fingernails. They buried her there, where they found her, but I don't know exactly where to look. I'll ask around. For the spell, I'll need something from the house where the spirit once lived. Where exactly did Alois live? It's north of here, to the left of the road from Ledechko. But there's not much left of it these days except ash and weeds. The farm was burned to the ground with Alois inside. Oof. That must have been a terrible death. I don't need to know anything else. I can head off now. None of these people are ever bothered by me want walking directly into their house to talk to them. In their bed. <laughs> Always an amusing thing. Yeah, straight up there. Maybe it's because I have so much charisma. I have just a mountain of my 17 charisma points that, like, no one will ever question why I am anywhere because they're just so happy to see me. Hey, everybody! Henry's come to see us! Henry, that hot. Is this the house? Everything burned to the ground. So where can I find something that belonged to the dead? I'll take some of these pieces of charred wood. That should do. Rob. Burnt wood from Aloise's farm. We'll have to see if that can work. Because that's all that we got. We need to find Leda. Shit. Okay, so ask around the locals, and we can hopefully find where Leda's grave is. 
The one problem being that it's nighttime. We'll see what I, we'll see who I can find that's awake this time of day. Maybe that sound is supposed to be thunder, because it is supposed to be... He did say it was supposed to have rain like crazy for the siege. And it is raining now, as fit for that. But... Nope. Nope. It, I, literally, as I'm saying that, the sound happens again. Nope. That's clearly not thunder. There's, there's rocks falling in that. You can hear rocks falling. That's That's me hearing the siege. From all across the entire kingdom. Technically closer, but still way too far away. How are you, Henry? Let me talk. He's a local. Talk to him, you asshole. My respects to you, sir. I hear there's a grave in the woods round here. Do you know how I can find it? You mean where they buried that mad woman? They say on some nights her ghost wanders the woods. But you'll find the grave when you head up to the woods and keep some way off to the right from the stream. It's hard enough to see in daylight. If it's dark, you're sure to get lost. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find it. If I were you, I wouldn't go looking for it. It's not a good place. There's a puddle of water in my hat. <laughs> Look at... I'll try to talk to someone again. Look at my hat. I can't talk to these people, can I? Uh, you'll have to check back. You'll, you'll just have to rewind a little bit if you want to see it. There's a puddle of water in the brim of my hat. Because <laughs> it because it folds up. So there's just like... I have like an aquarium on my head right now. That's incredible. It's close enough. You say it's hard to find at nighttime, but I have a torch. It's like daytime at night. Technology. I am better than nature, for I am man and I have technology. And if I finish this quest fast enough, I can go back to camp and sleep. And get my energy back up before it starts, because my energy is actually kind of dropping. And I don't want to do the war at less than 50, if I can avoid it. Ah, this must be it. May she rest in peace, Lord. Go back to the apothecary. That'll be a bit of a trip. Are you done throwing me now? I already got my torch out, so I don't have to worry about being arrested. This has been a... productive midnight scamper across the landscape. To deal with a quest with a ghost and a Necronomicon. Exciting. Shit. It occurs to me that he is going to be asleep. And he... Maybe so, but the land's still Good full day, of ruffians and... I'm no soldier. Besides, there's no need to go right now. Everything's well hidden, and it won't be sprouting legs and running off. And how are we supposed to live in the meantime? On dirt and air? Have fun with your strife. Henry, can you go over and pick up our stash so that we can live? Nah. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> Deal with your own shit. I'm literally running an entire siege myself while banishing demons. Y'all can fucking walk. You know, y'all can fucking walk. Alright, let's go take a nap in my own bed until morn. Because uh, they locked up tight. So even if I went in there, I'd probably be stuck in uh, breaking and entering mode where they would... There's that collision again. Here's the fun game I like to play called Where's Henry's House? Is it this one? It's not this one because I'm super trespassing right now. Uh, hi. Yeah, what are you up to here? 
Uh, looking for a bed and hoping that you wouldn't notice me, because then I could just sleep in your house. If we're gonna be honest. Uh, I can never remember where they put my house. It all looks the same around here. I usually just sleep in somebody else's house and give up. Like this one. Who cares? No one will notice. They never notice. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I thought my energy was low. Oh, my energy's at 92. Why did I think it was lower than that? Oh well. I can still sleep for a bit. I have to wait for all these lazy bums across the world to get up, because hyper-proactive Henry is here to save the day. Maybe the reason why it's up to me to save the day all the time is because I never sleep and can auto tra and, and I can auto-travel across the map, so I, I'm basically a superhero by their standards. Like, I can... I can do, I, I just have longer days and get around faster than any other character. So I... which... When everyone's problems are logistical by nature, makes me basically a superhero that can solve everyone's problems in a blink of an eye. Oh my goodness. That's why everyone wants me to do their taxes and carry shit to another town. So like, hey, you never sleep. Can you do all the shit we don't have time for? We have to sleep for 16 hours a day. We're all debilitated by this. God be with you, Henry. Wake up. Grab your brush and put a little makeup. Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? I don't think you trust in my self-righteous suicide. Good. I have everything we need. Excellent. In that case, I'm ready too. Let's meet after dark at the crossroads beyond Ladechko. I'll be there. If only I could have told him to do that before. We could have done it last night. Now I'm just wasting this entire day. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Wasted time. Should probably try to sell the crap on my horse again to make even more money, but I just don't want to deal with all this inventory crap that badly. Eh. Oh yeah, I am right here. Let's sell off Stalwart and the Booger Sword. Jesus Christ be proud. Yes, yes. Vendor bot, go. Go. These are not really great prices, honestly, but I'm over it. Let's have a word about. Mm. Let's have a word about the price. Fine. Finally, a reasonable sum. And you have nothing for me to buy? No, no skill books. I think I've used up every skill book in the game at this point. And these are the highest damage weapons in the entire game. None of them are better, better at stabbing, which is what I do best most of the time. And do you even sell bows? You don't. I always for I'm not. Who sells bows in this game? There's another siege sound. Okay. I'm surrendering on horseback. Orders of, his Orders of his lordship. Yes, I'm used to it. Do I look like someone you need to come? Yeah, look how fancy I am. Fuck, fuck off. I'm, I'm mega fancy. Watch what you're doing. Those people walking. In. You're the one that ran into a horse that was stationary. It's your fucking fault. The horse was standing completely still, and you were like, "I'm gonna rub my face on it so that the moment it starts to move, I can go." Ugh. Watch what you're doing. Ah, watch what you're doing. I mean, that was that was technically more my fault, but I super did not hit you, you liar. You're gonna have to 
You're never gonna get me on that insurance claim until they install security cameras around here. You, I didn't hit you. You can't trick me. You can't train people in, in archery? What a bummer. What, are, what good are you then? Oh, and your bows suck. Why do your bows all suck? Quality arrow, 125. I'll buy those. There we go. I'm a little worried about running out of good ones. I'm sort of working on this. Finally, a reasonable sum. Up on the horsey. Alright, so time to waste all of today, I guess. Um, hey look, a bench. Let's read. Let's read a book. It's in a book. Henry's Rainbow. Let's see. What what sounds especially relevant? Not eh, treasure maps. Uh, Sigismund of Luxembourg sounds rather re relevant. Papal Schism tournaments. Maiden's War, St. Wenceslas, Margar the Margaritaville Wars. <laughs> See, I've got too many of you. Too many of you. Not overdo it on my inventory here. Alright, let's read about the actual straight up villain of the game King Sigismund of Hungary. The son of Emperor Charles IV and his fourth wife, Elizabeth of Pomperania, may not have inherited the royal or imperial throne, as his brother Wenceslas did, but from his father, his slyness, intelligence, and political talents, he did inherit. Qualities his brother, the future king, was desperately lacking. For the ginger hair he was born with and his slyness, which he did display many a time in his youth, he was given the sobriquet, probably title, of the ginger fox, which uh, by which he was later called by his enemies especially. Sigismund is learned and popular, and his great indulgence in competing... His great indulgence is competing in tourneys, and seven languages of the world he does speak. Since 1387, he has been the King of Hungary, when he wed Mary of Hungary, who was at the time engaged to be married to the Duke of Orleans. And thus many of the evil tongue do say he took her by force and unjustly. However, it may have been th though he successfully defended his right to rule Hungary. Later, seeing his brother Wenceslas' inability to rule, he did collude with Jobst of Moravia and did commence boom collision sounds and did commence to plot against Wenceslas who ended up in his captivity with the great support of the Czech nobleman who would rather see Sigismund sit upon the throne than an inept ruler who devotes his time and efforts more to drinking and hunting than to perform his royal duties. But Wenceslas was freed by his, his other brother, and thus Sigismund's plan to seize power in Bohemia failed. In the year 1396, Sigismund planned a crusade and took up arms against the Ottoman Turks, but to the misfortune of all the Christians, he was defeated at the Battle of Nicopolis, and thus he removed himself to Hungary. Later, when his brother Wenceslas' rule in Bohemia deteriorated to the point which, where his own nobility rose up against him, he called upon his brother for assistance. And he did truly set off to Bohemia with a powerful Hungarian army. But being knowledgeable of the local situation, instead of helping his brother, he occupied his castles and towns and had his brother imprisoned, taking the crown for himself and finally bringing order to the land. Many do say he is a traitor, whilst others do praise his deeds. In all respects, however, he is indeed a much better Welcome, ruler. Henry. Probably true. We're all ultimately defending a dude that probably sucks at this and probably shouldn't be doing it, but hey, the other guy is bad. Actually, no, yeah, it's probably not true that he's a better ruler because he seems to be a total shithead that ruins everyone. But it's probably true that Wenceslas isn't a good ruler either, so... Really just shut- we're really just a, a people stuck between two shit stains. So I'm I'm ramping up to finish this game. Uh, we're in the big, we're in like big, 
major late game crap at the moment, as far as, as far as I can tell. And my side quests are drying up. I think this I think this game's drying up. So I don't think I'm gonna have a, a, enough random breaks where I feel like reading to get through the rest of the books. So I'm just going to page through these real quick to get the skill up. And you can pause on each page if you want to read them now. Oh man, welcome back from your uh, reading marathon. You have a good time? All right. <laughs> I don't mean to be glib or anything about that. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just literally like looking at the roadmap of how this playthrough is going and I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna have like six more reading breaks in this let's play. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Admittedly, a lot of the ones that I read kind of repeat information we already know, which is a little, a bit of a bummer. And that might have been true again for a lot of that stuff. I'm now waiting for two things at once. Which one will run out first? That one should be the morning at the very least, right? So it should be safe for me to wander off to this crossroads, wait till nighttime, do this quest as an exciting final chapter, perhaps, before the siege happens. The siege goes into full conflict tomorrow morning. I think tomorrow morning. This might actually be the most bizarrely perfectly timed quest. If only I'd just been slightly ahead of schedule that... What? No. Oh. If only I'd been slightly ahead of schedule, the moment where everyone's like, Hey, meet, meet after night would have been uh, last night. Instead of waiting all day, but it's fine. We'll make it work. By the way, where's my reading skill? 15... 45% passed. Yeah, I did not get a skill up from that. Unfortunately. My drinking has reached level 6. I bet... I actually use pickpocketing, but my drinking skill is twice the level of my pickpocketing skill. Even though I've never had alcohol in this game a single time on purpose. There's just been like a couple of story beats where he, he drinks. And that's been more important, apparently. Oh well. After dark. Now I will sit here motionless for nine hours, because if I sit here mo without moving a single muscle, I'll never have to eat food. Or sleep. Man, Henry, you're a weird robot. How do you do this? And when does your robot ever eat? I mean, your horse. Does your, does your horse need food? Are you t <gasps> are you starving, Pebbles? Oh, cool. Teresa's cooled down. Great. I care. No, fuck off. <laughs> I don't want to see Teresa. I want to see you. How are you? Ah, oh, good. You're here. Come with me. He doesn't hold up the torch in those scenes, but the light's definitely still happening. Oh, I said come with me, but he's leading the way. Whoops. Maybe they didn't record lines for that and they used generic ones. Are you ready for an exciting, exciting, exciting exorcism? Mr. Guy that they didn't deem fit to give a name to, and Henry's just so goddamn rude, he's never asked what the apothecary's name is at any point, even though he's got the kind of, like, quest... Oh, that's a weird... Oh, the floor is like... What the fuck is that? It's like it's, it's, like it's underwater. Oh, that was weird. This, this guy should... This guy has a quest chain like the guy that runs the triage center in the monastery, but he's just apothecary. <laughs> Poor voice actor. Got, all, got to do all that work. And his role is just called apothecary number three. And he's probably number one. He's from Ratai. I'll give him that much. Do 
Did you hear that? Did, did you did you hear that? Tell me you heard that. Hey, there it is. No, he put his lantern away when he arrived because he doesn't need it now. Even though it's we're here Stop at night. The All right. so we can go and get some sleep. <clears throat> what a joke, Henry! You don't sleep. Don't pretend you sleep. Ziana Kanba, Zikia Kanba, Galubara, Namtabara, Ashakbara, Kikimbara, Ziana Kampa, Zikia Kampa, Galubara, Namtabara. What's that? Go on, that's what matters. Just keep going. I think that's enough. The ghost must surely be banished by now. Now let's get out of here before something worse appears. Go and see the widow tomorrow to find out if it helped. I'm going home. Thanks for the help. You heard a rustle in the woods and you're cowarding away. What if it was just a rabbit? Wait, where are you going? That's not the way you came from. Where? Don't you want to go back to civilization because you're afraid of ghosts? Where are you going? Apothecary, where are you, where are you going? Greetings. Alright, well, he he's doing his nonsense. Alright. Alright, not my best call. Not my best call. Not my best call. The good news is I've got supplies, so I'm not too- <gasps> Oh, I dropped them. Never mind. We're fine. Oh, I put them on the horse. We're even more fine. I thought I drank 13 of them for a second there, <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you lunatic. That's not the way to go at all. Whole day to eat. There we go. Intuitively, I'm like, okay, eight makes you apply to them to, uh, to stuff. You must want to press X then. No, there's, there's the hold button, because they've got so many... They've got like such a strangely large number of inputs for some of these things. Hey, horsey. Don't throw me. I know you just are into doing that now, because you're a traitor. Goddamn blood traitor, hor horse. Might as well try to see her now. It says see her tomorrow, but I might as well just go talk to her now and see what happens. And see if the scripting works that way. Because if I have to wait till tomorrow to be after the siege, and I don't even know if the game will keep going at that point. This might be a continuous series of battles for the rest of the game. Why'd you- why have you- why have you locked your door to my- Don't worry, I'm on a secret mission. Everything's fine. God be with you, Henry! God be with you, Henry! Can you guys hear that? Who saw me? I thought somebody saw me. Oh well, I put my torch away. Now they'll never notice. Did nobody report me? They'll never suspect a thing. I did it. Anyway, lockpicking skills. That's my commission. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, somebody- they said that was seen. But, I guess they wasn't seen? Cause I didn't get that buff that's like, ooh. You've been seen doing a crime, but haven't been caught yet. Here's that daring debonair buff. It's just, it's not here. Huh. Maybe they forgot. Like they got bored? Oh well. 
So yeah, I have to wait till tomorrow. But we have a siege to do, so uh, we'll see if we ever get back to that. Maybe it'll be the dramatic cliffhangers. Whatever happened to Draho Mirho lady, whatever her name was. She's probably fine. Ghosts aren't real. <laughs> I probably should have read the Necronomicon. Oh well. Somebody probably wrote it online somewhere. Or maybe I can steal it back. Maybe, it's, maybe it would be in its chest somewhere. Or on its character. I have tried to pickpocket that character though, and he has like 15 goddamn items in his inventory. It's a real pain to pickpocket, to pickpocket him. Um, fire? Is that is that one of the fires we're supposed to have? Or, oh, not, cool, the fire changed color. Okay. The cloud happened way before the sound happened. But yeah, that's definitely the sound of that. That, that just verified that. What is... Is there just a... F you guys just having a fire down here, or... Oh, that one house is on fire. And it's just spewing smoke into our camp? That's unfortunate for us. That's woefully unfortunate for us. Alright. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Henry's come to see us. <laughs> it's even funnier when they say that when it's all the important people. It's like it's not random dudes, but it's like the most important characters in the game are just as gleeful to see me every time. Now we're gonna wash up. And we're going to equip all of these. And unequip the cosmetics. Is this a cosmetic? I think that's normal armor. And fancy pants Henry, with his big ass awesome armor, is going to stand perfectly still and wait until morning. Or whenever the siege is over. <laughs> <laughs> 